Sandbox games. Video games with a gameplay element that provides players with a great degree of creativity to interact with, usually without any predetermined goal or with a goal that a player sets for themselves. In my personal and completely 100% unbiased opinion, sandbox games are the best games ever to be created. Games like Minecraft, Gary's Mod, um, other games probably. Games where you can just do whatever you want and make your own contraptions, I just think are really fun. Monkey game I also find pretty fun. You know where I'm going with this, right? Right? Obviously, I'm using Unity because... Yes. yes. And clearly, I'm not that smart, so I'm gonna have to gamble for a name. After putting it all on red and getting a decent name, we can actually start working on the project. And I don't know about you guys, but I like moving. And I think moving's a pretty essential part, so let's add moving. And now you can move. Well, it's not really much to sandboxes or nothing to- OH MY GOD, THAT'S A CLOBABLE CUBE! But this isn't just any cube. This is a cube with physics. Introducing the world-changing technology known as standing, but on a cube. With the power of the weld tool, you can now perfectly constrain two bodies together. Now, it's kind of boring when you only have two things to work with. Good thing we now have a spawn menu. New stuff just got made. Do you want to control something without even being there? Introducing the matching gyro. It helps you control stuff when you're not there. Oh, and also the physics cube from before, that's called a thruster, and it moves you in the direction it's facing. Now it's time to add some actually useful things, like maybe multiplayer, or... The sky gets darker when you go up because of, like, space and stuff. Terrible re-entry particle effects. <coughs> uh, anyways. So remember the wing from earlier? Yeah, it, it doesn't work. Luckily, it was smart people a long, long time ago that figured out how to do stuff. So apparently you have to implement low pressure, uh, high pressure, uh, lift, drag, throw. What the? F here's a stupid little missile made without wings, and here's the ultra giga chat missile with 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 wings. Did you ever want to activate something like a thruster from far away? Well, now with the new wire tool and the remote, you can do just that. It's time to return to monkey. You can now climb climbable surfaces and like hang off the ceilings as well. Well, this game is pretty fun, but I wish there was a few more parts that I could build stuff with. Introducing the part making show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the to the to the uh, the part making show, the only show in the show where we make parts. In today's episode number 43 and, uh, and, and a half, we're gonna be making. The wrong platform. We can we can use something as a base. Let's just use the platform. Like long, like long, like 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 long. My supervisors advised me that I should probably make it not that long. Anyway, so we got our, our, our long platform. You yeah, as you can see, it's completely. Completely and obviously longer than the other one, the stupid little one, and the epic gigachad long platform. Now you can, uh, we need to brand it so no, no one tries to steal it, so you can recognize it from the peasant one. You know, so we're gonna come up with a really creative name. I, I don't know about you guys, personally, I was thinking, long platform. I mean, I, 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 Okay, now we can drag and drag and drag this just down into the items, and there we go. Thank you for coming to the part show. Uh, <coughs> uh, well, that just happened. Uh, how about we get him to make some, like, actual useful props? Like, maybe some, uh, seats, chairs, shelves? And this time, let's not give him his own segment in the video. <laughs> Perfect! He sent over those pack of 100 props! Yay!
first of all, I changed the model of the thruster by a little bit. Next, I added a big ramp. Next, a big cube, a super cool chair, and a small ramp. And finally, the simple shelf, along with a new tool called the spring tool, which creates spring joints. Well, I threw together a quick main menu scene, and I think it turned out pretty good. Whoa, I can just add multiplayer? Oh, you bet. <laughs> oh, whoa. So it turns out adding multiplayer is usually not that hard, but when it comes to fully physics sandbox games, it's a little bit more difficult. Here's the first prototype, and it's not even in VR. I'm just using the Unity editor to move most of the parts around, as you can see by the hands. Um, so right now, I don't even know if grabbing sinks or what else, what even works. Just kidding, I got it to work. You can also now weld and create other constraints within multiplayer, as well as pushing and pulling other players. There is a simplified and networked version of a plane. Here's a cool little car flying thing thingy that I made on the new Grasslands map. Here's a quick unity view of Grasslands. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll be making more of this, definitely. So if you like it, subscribe and like. And yeah. Um, comment in below. Comment down below on stuff that you think would be a good, like, like stuff, like parts to add. And I'll probably do a video or a short of making them and adding them to the game.